does this happen to you? The video call keeps on stalling and then the connection breaks off completely. TikTok videos stop right in the middle and downloading a new app takes ages. Let us know in the comments if this sounds familiar. Why is my mobile internet so slow? We'll briefly explain the main reasons and give you five easy tips that could make your connection faster. There are several reasons for low internet speed. You are probably using either a 4G or 3G connection. 3G is the third generation mobile technology and the predecessor of LTE or 4G. The most important difference between the two standards is, with 3G you can reach transmission rates of up to 42.2 megabit per second. It takes one second to transfer 42 million bits. 4G allows for rates up to 1000 megabits per second, so faster. Both 3G and 4G are usually good enough to accommodate our typical needs for video streaming, video conferencing, gaming and web browsing. But sometimes that just doesn't work. Extremely important for our internet speed is occupancy. Let me explain with an example. You're paying for an internet package with 50 megabit per second LTE. Let's say a transmission mast provides 50 megabit per second, purely hypothetical. When few internet users in the vicinity of the transmission tower browse with LTE, up and download speeds will be high. That's possible because the masts spread their signal on different frequency bands. Once there are more users than available frequencies, it gets difficult. If 50 people share one frequency, they also share the 50 megabit per second. In that case, it also doesn't matter which rate you are in fact paying for. So, if you're living in a big city, chances are high a lot of people around you are online when you are which causes networks to overload. If you're thinking, hey, I'll just move to the countryside then. No. There are less transmission masts, and the further you're away from them, the worse your connection. And occupancy also applies to devices. There are 4.3 billion internet users around the world. The countries with the highest number of internet users as of 2021 are China, India and the United States. The numbers are rising fast. For instance, in India, there will be almost 800 million users connected to the Internet by 2023. But also more and more Internet of Things devices enter our lives. The number of network devices and the amount of data have been rapidly increasing for years. Current mobile radio technologies will reach their limits in the foreseeable future, so will we face even slower Internet speeds? Maybe not, and that's because of the fifth generation. With the 5G network, a successor is already in the starting blocks. It will not only make our mobile internet faster, but also more robust. 5G enables data rates of up to 10 gigabit per second, significantly more than LTE. It means an important step towards networking our everyday life. Because with 5G technology, not only are higher data rates possible, but also a significantly increased number of connections, as well as a significantly shorter signal runtime. Oh, can't wait, you guys. 5G sounds amazing, but of course, that doesn't help you with your slow internet speed now, does it? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are five tips for when your internet is too damn slow. Apps and widgets normally don't consume a lot of data, with a couple of exceptions. Facebook's app, for example, is extremely hungry for data and will use part of your available bandwidth for updates in the background. If you disable automatic updates and refreshes for all the applications you don't need in your settings, this can improve the speed of your primary task. This is not only important for safety reasons. An old operating system or outdated versions of apps often don't handle data traffic as well as they could, so staying up to date will also affect your speed. You might know this from your laptop or PC, a full cache will hurt the overall performance. Go to settings and clear your mobile cache. Don't worry, this doesn't affect information such as app data or saved passwords. Data savers want to make sure your provider bills stay low, but they can also slow down your connection speed. Turn it off in the settings when you really need that extra speed. But don't forget to turn it back on again afterwards to keep your costs low. Continuously searching for the best available network can hurt your phone's performance. So, in case you're not moving around, search for the strongest available signal, switch off automatic operator selection and then choose the best signal manually. To be always well connected on the go, turn automatic selection on again after your task is done. 